வெல்கம் டு சேன் அகாடமி பலிகர்ணை கிளாஸ் சிக்ஸ் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் ஹாப்பி டே ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அ நெக்ஸ்ட் சாப்டர் ஃப்ரம் சோஷியல் அண்ட் பொலிட்டிக்கல் லைஃப் சாப்டர் நம்பர் ஃபோர் நேம் ஆஃப் த சாப்டர் இஸ் கே எலிமெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ டெமோக்ராட்டிக் கவர்மெண்ட் டாபிக்ஸ் டு பி கவர்ட் பார்ட்டிசிபேஷன் அதர் வேஸ் ஆஃப் பார்ட்டிசிபேட்டிங் நீட் டு ரிசால்வ் கான்ஃப்ளிக்ட் equality and justice south africa is a country that has people of several races there are black people who belong to south africa whites who came there to settle and indians who came as laborers and traders maya naidu an 11 year old south african girl living in the town of johannesburg was helping her mother clear up her old boxes She found a scrapbook full of pictures and newspaper articles. There were many pictures of a young school boy of around 15 years of age. When she asked her mother who the boy was, she was told that he was called Hector Peter's son. He had been shot by the police. Maya was shocked. Why? she asked. Her mother explained that South Africa was earlier governed by apartheid laws. What does apartheid laws mean? Apartheid means separation on the basis of race. South African people were divided into white, black, Indian and colored races. According to the law, these races were not allowed to mingle with each other, to live near each other or even to use common facilities. Maya could not believe her ears. Maya's mother sounded angry when she spoke about life under apartheid. She told Maya that in those days hospitals were separate and so were ambulances an ambulance meant for white people would always be well equipped while one meant for the black was not there were separate trains and buses even the bus stops were different for black and white people non whites were not allowed to vote The best land in the country was reserved for the white people and non-whites had to live on the worst available land. Thus blacks and colored people were not considered to be equal to whites. One black township was the southwestern township called Soweto. Hector Peterson lived here and he and his friends, his classmates, joined the protest against learning the Afrikaans language in school. This was the language that the whites spoke. Hector and other school students were being forced to learn this language, but they wanted to learn their own language. That is the Zulu. The South African police beat up the protesters mercilessly and shot at the crowd. One of their bullets killed Hector. This happened on 16th of June 1976. The African National Congress, a group of people who led the struggle against apartheid and their most well-known leader, Nelson Mandela, fought the apartheid system for several years. Finally, they succeeded and in 1994, South Africa became a democratic country in which people of all races were considered equal. Participation Why do we have regular elections? You have already read that people make decisions in democratic country. through voting in elections people elect leaders to represent them these representatives take decisions on behalf of the people in doing so it is assumed that they will keep in mind the voices and interests of the people all governments are elected for fixed periods in india this period is for 5 years once elected governments can stay in power only for that period if they want to continue to be in power they have to be reelected by the people This is a moment when people can sense their power in democracy. In this way, power of the government gets limited by regular elections. Other ways of participating. Other ways of participating are through elections held usually once in 5 years. Besides voting, there are other ways of participating in the process of government. People participate by taking an interest in the working of the government and by criticizing it when required. Example, 
Demonetization. Some people were not happy with the government's decision to ban note of rupees 500 and rupees 1000. There are many ways in which people express their views and make government understand what actions they should take. These include dharnas, rallies, strikes, signature campaigns, etc. Things that are unfair and unjust are also brought forward. Newspapers, magazines and TV also play a role in discussing government issues and responsibilities. If a country's people are alert and interested in how the country is run, the democratic character of the government of that country will be stronger. Needs to resolve conflict. Another important key element of democracy is it helps in resolving conflict. Conflicts can often lead to violence and death because one group decides that it is all right to use force to prevent the other group from protesting. The Indian constitution lays down the basic rules or laws that have to be followed by everyone. These laws are for both the government and for the people. Conflicts and differences have to be resolved according to these laws. For example, the route a procession takes may lead to a conflict. The government, particularly the police, play an important role in getting representatives of concerned communities to meet and try and arrive at a solution. A river may begin in one place flow through another and end in a third. The sharing of river water between different places that the river grows through is becoming an issue of conflict. Kaveri water dispute is between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. The water stored in Krishna Sagar Dam is in Karnataka is used for irrigation a number of districts and for meeting the needs of the city of Bangalore. The water stored in Metu Dam in Tamil Nadu is used for crops grown in Delta region of that state. A conflict arises between both dams are on the same river. The downstream dam in Tamil Nadu can only be filled up if water is released from upstream one that is located in Karnataka. Therefore, both states can't get as much as water as they need for people in their states. This leads to a conflict. Equality and Justice one of the key ideas of democratic government is its commitment to equality and justice. Equality and justice are inseparable. Untouchability in India. The practice of untouchability is often associated with Hinduism and believed to be found only in India. The government also recognizes this and makes special provisions for groups within society that are unequal. For instance, in our society, there is a general tendency to value and care for boy child more than a girl child. This means that society does not value the girl and boy child equally and this is unjust. In this context, the government steps in to promote a justice by providing special provisions that can enable girls to overcome the injustice that they are subjected to. Thank you.